Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you the Ordinary EUK134 which is also an antioxidant that can help with wetness and photo aging and you can use this one on a daily basis in the morning and evening. Now it is also an anhydrous solution which means that you're going to apply it after your water-based serums but before any oils and creams. Now the EUK has a few conflicts as of today with other ordinary products which I also wanted to share with you right now. So if you have one of those products at home please do not combine them in the same routine and if you want to use one of the other products that are also on the conflict list then I would recommend using them at separate times. And so now that you also know the basics, I wanted to get into the EUK application as well as showing you at the end of the video also an example routine. So let's get started. Now I'm going to show you how you can do the patch test with the ordinary EUK and we are going to do it on the upper forearm area. Now patch dust can help you to make sure that no irritation occurs and if something happens you only have it on your upper forearm area and you also know about it so that you also won't use it on your face. Now we are going to clean this area right here so make sure to take a bit of water and soap and wash this area and then rinse it off with water. Then take a towel and pat your skin dry. Now for the patch test we are only going to use one drop of the Ordinary EUK which we are going to apply right here. Then blend it into the skin. And it is also going to soak into the skin. Just give it a bit of time. It's important that this area right here stays dry and clean so that you uh, like every moment can observe if something happens, if you can see an irritation during that 24 hours where you are having this also on your skin. If you can see during that time that an irritation occurs, please do not use it on your face. If nothing happens, then you're also fine to use it on your face. After the 24 hours have passed, you can also rinse off this area with water. And this is how you can do the patch test for EUK before applying it on your face. Now before you are going to apply EUK to your face, it's really important that you're starting off with step number one, which is always washing your face with your favorite cleanser. And the one that I can recommend is also the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser, which is so simple and it can help you to remove any dirt, excess oil, dead skin cells and makeup. And it's really important to start off with a freshly washed face. Now if you want to know how you can use the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser, I can link you in the video in the top right corner. Now I have already washed my face so I'm ready for the application. Now EUK can be used alone so that you are going to keep it very simple or you can also include it in your skincare routine. But for now, right now, I'm going to focus on the application of EUK itself so that you can see how it also applies on the skin. Now I definitely would recommend starting off with one, two, three drops for the entire face and neck area. And if you feel the need that you want to add a few drops more, you can do so. But start off with less, see how it feels and if needed, you can always add more. Now for me, I'm going to stick with three drops for the entire face and neck area. Then gently use it between your hands and apply it all over your face and neck.
Now when applying EUK your skin can feel a little bit warm so this is also an antioxidant that's going to heat up a bit but it shouldn't burn, it shouldn't sting or give you any irritation. If this is happening please also make sure that you're going to stop using it but it is normal that it's going to heat up a bit but after you have also blended into the skin it also should go away. Now EUK can be used alone and if you want to use it alone, for example also in your morning skincare routine and you're also being exposed to the sun, please also don't forget to also use a good sunscreen afterwards. Applying sunscreen or moisturizer that also includes SPF in it is always the last step that you're going to finish with. So take a fair amount and apply it all over your skin where your skin is also going to be exposed to the sun. Now when applying the sunscreen it's really important that you're going to apply it 30 minutes before you're being exposed to the sun so that it also has a bit of time to really set to protect the skin when you're leaving the house. Now also don't forget your ears which most people also forget about it but those two can also get a little bit burned if not really like uh, paid attention to it especially with the sunscreen and after you have applied it then this is also basically a simple routine. Of course you could add a moisturizer in between if you feel like it but for me for example using EUK on its own is a, like a great feeling on the skin and then just you finishing it off with the sunscreen that's basically already it. Now if you want to apply or basically use EUK also in your skincare routine then it's important that you know when you should also apply it so that you can also properly layer each product as well as also keep the conflicts in mind that you're not going to use any of those products in the same routine so that you also can avoid any irritation or that it's also going to decrease the efficiency of another product. Now I also prepared a skincare routine for you which I came up and it's also a great way if you want to go for an anti-aging skincare routine. Now I want to mention one thing again, the EUK is an anhydrous solution which means that you should also know the general rule of thumb which always works like this. You're going to start off with water-based serums, then you're moving on to any anhydrous solutions, in this case using EUK, then move on to any oil formulations, creams and suspensions. And now that you know the order on how you should layer the different products and also the different formulations, let's have a look at the skincare routine. So here you can see my skincare routine which I put together for anti-aging and those products can really help you with fine lines, with deeper wrinkles, with dullness and also to get a more even skin tone. And this is for sure more of an advanced skincare routine but it's so simple to also follow and when using it in a correct way and also layering them properly it can give you amazing results with it. Now we have a daily AM skincare routine which won't change. You're always going to use this one and it stays the same. But the PM skincare routine is the one that's going to change. First of all, because I also wanted to include retinoids. And you can also use EUK with retinoids. And of course, optional, you also could use this great oil, which is the rosehip seed oil, which also kind of acts like an antioxidant. So it's also going to support it even more. And for the second PM skincare routine, I've also included vitamin C. Now EUK can't be used with pure vitamin C's. This is why we are going to use them at separate times. You're only going to use EUK in the morning, but you're going to skip it in the evening. Instead, I also wanted to include the rosehip seed oil, which also adds, like, acts like a great antioxidant and it's going to support the vitamin C. Now if you have already deeper wrinkles that are already present, then vitamin C is also a great product to also use. So I really wanted to make sure that I'm including as many great ingredients into this routine so that it also can target those concerns. 
and you also will learn more about this on how you can layer them properly how you can also use each product and apply it to your face in also the separate video where I'm going to break down this entire skincare routine which you can also find now at the end of this video so if you want to check it out if you want to have a look at the products and then decide if you want to get them for yourself feel free to also watch this video until like after this one now, I also do hope that you enjoyed this video specifically about EUK. And also, if you liked this video, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!